I, I, I would have killed the Dicamax. Uh, definitely could have killed the Dicamax there. Uh, but let's try and get into a game where we actually start off on a proper footing instead of behind and trying to uh, trying to set it up for our team. Uh, it'd be nice if the Americans of this tier had a massive gun that they could use, uh, something like you know the Germans have with the Dicker and the Stor, or uh, something like you know just a big. You know, NAF off 105. But unfortunately, uh, the Sherman 105 got nerfed. So that doesn't exist. Ah, Port Novorossic. Now, this is an interesting map. Um, it really follows the same, uh, the same idea that a lot of other maps do. Um, so as you can see, these are more expensive now. So we're probably top tier. Uh, at 5.7, which would make sense. Uh, you have T3485s, you have IS-2s. Okay, so we're not fully top two yet. Because, as you can see, there's an FV4202. That's a 6.0. But we are closer to top tier this time than we were before. It's just like this IS-2 get out, which I believe is 6.0. So we're facing uh, Germany and Japan. So 6.0, what do we have? Germany and Japan. We have the Premium Tiger E, we have the Tiger E, the Tiger H1, uh, the Tiger 2P, I believe is at 6.0 now. Uh, we have the Panthers. What else do we have uh, at 6.0 for the Japanese? The Japanese, they have the... Uh, is it the Cheery 2? With the long barreled 75 autoloader, that's something to watch out for. But generally what you're looking for on this map is even spread. You want at least one tank uh, from uh, your allied team against uh, down each of these roads. If you play incredibly defensive on this map and let the enemy push you instead of trying to push, uh, you will do amazingly uh, because it's very easy to catch people on this map. It's very much like the, the railway factory, abandoned factory map. So I'm going to pick this road, since nobody seems to ever like it. And we don't have to push, we just have to hold, and we have to be able to get that first shot. The first shot is incredibly important uh, when it comes to this map. I love the driver's port, by the way. I'm definitely going to make uh, some videos with the driver's port on some tanks. As you can see, we have even spread on each of the roads, which is good. We have at least one tank down each one. Uh, what generally happens is each side, as you can see, a lot of tanks are piling up to the uh, left side of the map or the south side. Generally what happens is a lot of people try and push down that side because near the river uh, there's not really a lot of cover. So pushing down that side is something that uh, people will do. So we'll probably see some kind of fight down there. Looks like we have a Tiger 2, uh, Tiger, Tiger E Premium Japanese spotted. Uh, once again, as I said in the Air 1 a very long time ago, the kill feed is one of the most important things that uh, you will ever see. Um, you've got to keep an eye on this, especially in tanks, because it tells you what you're fighting against. Uh, there was... I was watching a Last Shadow video and he was talking about, uh, this was for League of Legends, he was teaching somebody, and basically said how professionals generally look at the map every three quarters of a second. Now, that is definitely a bit high, um, if we're looking at the standard uh, War Thunder player, but I believe every three, two or three seconds, you should be looking at the map, and not just to see where the enemy is, but to see where your allies die. <laughs> and to also see where your allies are. So, we know that the left flank is getting pummeled into oblivion. Uh, we've just lost three tanks on that side uh, for an exchange with a Panzer 3L. Uh, so we know either they're hitting from long range, which generally that is what happens, uh, but if I don't do something now, or at least, or if my team doesn't uh, understand what's going on, we're going to lose that flank very soon and they're going to push into our spawn. So we have to get into a position which is incredibly defensive, uh, just in case that happens. I can tell you exactly where these people are. They're here, right? Just where that guy marked. They're right there. 
and they're also here. Because they have long barrels, and you can't trade with them. One of the big uh, issues I think a lot of War Thunder players have is they think that their guns can trade with their tigers at long range. And generally most guns in this game cannot trade with an 88 at range. Uh, so you have to catch them close. And on this map you have the perfect opportunity from doing that. Like you see these guys here, right? This guy is uh, side peeking a corner in his T20. Uh, may, you may think that's a great idea, right? You may think that's a great idea, but you know that there's at least two tanks over there which are going to be staring you in the face. And maybe you'll get the first shot off, maybe you'll do a bit of damage. But as we can tell from the map, we have a few medium tanks trying to fight in that little pocket, two FV-4202s. Are they in a squad? No. Um, they're trying to fight in that pocket against heavy tanks, and, you know, they may pick a few of them off, uh, depending on how good they are. Uh, but generally, they're not going to do too well. We had some... That's a tiger. Bounced off his front plate. Okay, so I saw that nobody was down here. Uh, I took the first shot because I know that I can get the shot off before the tiger. I can't shoot again. Uh, because once I pop out, that tiger will kill me. I can still see him. Uh, he's still sat there. He's actually moving more to the left. Uh, I can't really bounce a shot in the T25, which is the issue. Um, a panther just died. Well, let's just see. Is he still there? Uh, yeah, he just fired. So he's actually in that gap. It's a premium tiger, that's fair. Oh, dear. Oh, hello. Right, so that's the sweet spot on the tiger that you want to aim for. <laughs> that happens every so often. Uh, you hit that little uh, flat plate right on the upper glacis and it'll kill everything inside. But I saw two more muzzle flashes down there. We have one tank who is sat there. I can't tell what that tank is. It's a T-34-85. Uh, there is tanks moving up with it. We need to help him out. Right, driver, gunner transmission, he's on fire. Right, so we have to watch him. We have to watch him. Will he put the fire out is the interesting thing. Right, he's put the fire out, but he's also got his gunner. But that's okay, because we can take him out. We can hit him again, blow up the ammo. We have APHE, so we know where he's coming. That T-3485 didn't last, though. So that tells me there's either somebody who's come down the right lane, which is fine, because we have a whole group of tanks trying to hold that. Um, always come down here. This M4A2 is going to get himself killed because he's out in the open. A place where you really don't want to be. Um, especially when trading with... That's a Tiger. That's based on the machine gun. It may be a Panther as well. But um, since we've run into a bunch of Tigers, I'm believing it's a Panther. Uh, Panzer 4D just died. The Sherman just took a shot to the front. His driver's probably dead. Uh, I can't get a shot there. The M4A2 is dead to a stirring mill. Okay. Uh, really? Uh, that kind of doesn't bode well. If that stirring mill is there, generally that means that I've lost my left flank. Uh, which I might have done. But he can't hit me from here. We could go around, but I don't know what's on that left side. I can hear stuff. Hello. Excuse me? Um... Pardon? Now the reason I knew he was there is because I heard his engine right through uh, my headphones. That's something to always take into account. Um, I'm surprised I bounced off that, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go in our backup T25. I don't really use backups, but why not? Uh, just for this video. Come on, let me back in. Oops, it didn't. It didn't click. Never take full ammo as well. I I don't think taking full ammo is a good idea. But once again, it looks like we've lost this, uh, just based on what the team did. Um, our whole left flank got butchered, really, because once again, you you can't trade with these things. Uh, there's generally no point in even trying. And on the for some reason, both teams like pushing 
on that uh, downward part. You see where that heavy tank is? What is the heavy tank? The IS-2. He's done well. He's got three kills. He's held that. <clears throat> but when there's just millions and millions and millions of tigers and panthers coming down, uh, there's only so many shots you have. And everybody else died in the process. So we know around B that there's a Dicamax and a, uh, a premium tiger. So we're looking at a tiger E. Uh, we could use this ZSU-37 as base, but it won't really help uh, help our cause that much. Uh, something that's uh, also, that as an experienced player you can kind of tell, is how fast um, how fast the point is being captured. Uh, you can see how many uh, people are on top of it. Uh, we also know there's a heavy tank here. Just got hit by something. Uh, so we're going to have to go and attack this at an unconventional angle because they're obviously going to have the conventional angles done up. That muzzle flash was incredibly close. And uh, it's from a probably the same tiger. So we're just going to... Okay, so he knows I'm here. There's not really a lot I can do from this point. Uh, I need that IS-2 to come back. I mean, having these AA is nice, um, but they're not going to do a lot. And it looks like the IS-2 hit some kind of guy, but um, what's that going to do for us? Uh, the AA has to push up. We do have one AA which is pushing up. If this is the same uh, premium tank driver, then I know he's not going to be paying that much attention to me if somebody else comes up first. I can't see him though. Has he moved back? Yeah, it looks like he has, right, so we can move on. Panzer 4F2 is dead. What? Oh, okay. Oh, that was bad judgment on my part. But uh, you're going to get this a lot in War Thunder Ground Forces. You're going to get a lot of times where um, your team kind of falls apart and there's not really a lot you can do. I mean, you know, two kill, two for two, one assist. Uh, yeah, maybe you, you could say that I need to do a bit better. Um, but there, there's only so much you can do um, when they're all just barreling down on you. I think generally people just need to know how to trade in this game uh, when it comes to realistic tanks. If you're against tigers, uh, generally you want to try and catch them. You don't want to face them in a full-out brawl. You want to try and... Uh, one, one thing's first thing is that they're incredibly large tanks. Uh, and one thing you want to...